Grade 3 Math, number 115, Naming Polygons. We talked a little bit about polygons before. We've been discussing geometry. So I'm going to go over polygons again, just to show you some other stuff here. A polygon is a closed shape made of straight line segments. They're named by the number of sides and angles they have. They have the same number of sides as they do angles. So let's look at this triangle here. The triangle has three sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. In fact, the beginning of the word tri means three. So this triangle has three sides. It also has three angles. One, two, three. Let's look at a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides and four angles, and all these purple ones are quadrilaterals. One, two, three, four sides. One, two, three, four sides. And one, two, three, four angles. See? One, two, three, four. Four sides and four angles. A pentagon has five sides and five angles. One, two, three, four, five sides. One, two, three, four, five sides. And one, two, three, four, five angles. Five sides and five angles. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five angles. Five vertices. A hexagon has six sides and six angles. It doesn't matter how you draw it as long as it's closed and that it's got straight line segments for sides. It's a polygon. And if it's got six sides and six angles, it's a hexagon. And the prefix hex means six. I wanted to tell you that the prefix pent means five and quad means four. Okay? So hexagon, six sides, six angles. A decagon has ten sides and ten angles. That kind of looks like a perfume bottle, doesn't it? So 10 sides and 10 angles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sides. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 angles. 10 sides and 10 angles. And an octagon, which kind of looks like a stop sign, doesn't it? Did you know stop signs are in the shape of an octagon? It has eight sides and eight angles. And as long as it's closed and it's made of straight line segments, then it's a polygon. And if it's got eight sides and eight angles, it's an octagon. So remember, they've got the same number of sides and angles, and they have to be closed and made of straight line segments. And those are some of the polygons that we have in math. I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work.